Hi, I'm David Escola. I'm a performance coach at Tanyapura Health and Sport Center. Uh, here today we are going to talk a little bit about the swimming sessions. Uh, we are going to talk, uh, talk a little bit about different topics, especially doing some difference between triathletes and swimmers. Today, for example, we have in the evening session, we have two groups that they are going to train together for one hour. One group is triathlete, most of the amateur age groupers, and one group is a swimmer, and they are young swimmer mixed with some international swimmers that they have been in the World Champs and Olympic Games. So what I would like uh, to say is today, for example, what we are going to do is at the middle, a mixed session that is going to fit for every, every swimmer because uh, I would like to say that um, the purpose of the training is kind of different. The race is totally different between a swimmer and triathlete, but they share a lot of things between together. So I would like to speak a little bit about what difference we can find and what things uh, we can find that they should work both at the same time uh, in the same way. Yeah, so for example, a couple of things that I always say, is you need to get used to, to up your head from time to time. You cannot just swim all the year swimming head down like a swimmer is one of the big mistakes of the swimmer it's always been the head up and if you see a triathlete when they come to your session always they are going to bring your head up immediately because they are used to swim looking ahead so one of the things that i always say is trying to introduce this in your session try to put your head a little bit high as well sometime to time and look at the front trying to read that boy or that bit that you have to go uh, at the end of the of your race Another thing that I like to, to, to tell you guys is that you need to maintain a little bit your, your arms, your stroke should be a little bit higher than uh, a swimmer because many times when you attack to the front, you need to attack higher if the day is, is, is a really rough or, or there are big current or with big wave, you swim really close to the to the to the surface you are going to hit the water so you are going to drag your arms and you're going to feel a lot of resistance so your stroke rate should be a little bit slower and arms a little bit higher this way you can reach the, the point farther and you can uh, avoid to hit the water or hit the wave when the wave is coming to you this is a couple of things that i always like to to different between swimmer and, and triathlete the different of the, the water conditions are totally different okay and another point that I would like to talk and is about the kick. The kick, we could say that it's a um, polemic be between uh, talking about this matter. So you can see, uh, or you can you talk with different coaches. You can see a different opinion about that. Some coaches, uh, they. Uh, are more uh, the push more for the side that avoid the kick, save energy on your leg, and try to train a lot with your pull. This have a reason, and it's really really good reason. That means that you need to ride and you need to run after, especially for long distance, especially Ironman half Ironman, where the the most important part is going to be the bike and the, and the running is going to be the most determined part of the race. It's really good to save your your, your energy. So it's really you could say that is sustainable is is important is this matter. But I always say another kind of coaches we uh, we think that. Uh, learn to kick and get used to kick properly. It's gonna help you. It's gonna make you swim faster. So I always say that if you swim faster when you kick, you train properly and you learn to maintain an easy kick without pushing that much on that part. You are gonna be able to swim faster, especially if your technique is not that good. If you started like uh, on the middle age, you are not a kid that you have been swimming since you were young. So when you try to to, to jump on this in sport or Whatever, 30s, 40s, 50s. Many we, we have many people from different backgrounds. Your techniques always is gonna be not as the same that if you are a swimmer from, from when you are where a kid. So I always say that if you get used to the kick from, from the beginning, it's gonna help you a lot, a lot. So from my point of view, I think it's good to to work on the kick uh, without forgetting that. You, we don't need to push that much as a swimmer. So it could be also a little bit personalized depending on the athlete, depending on the background. Some exactly, exactly. I cannot say that definitely everyone has to work on the kick. Mm -hmm. I would like to say that think about what is your race, what kind of race are you doing, because for example for short distance it's quite important the kick. 
because in the end you get a lot of speed and you don't uh, spend as much energy. For like I say, long distance, you need to be a little more, uh, I would say, mm, more accurate or a little bit more, think a little bit more on safe energy because in the end of the water you're not gonna make that much different as you can make in a marathon or in a 180k. So it depends on the athlete, the distance, you, you should push a little bit on one side or on the other side.